In this video, we're going to explain to you how the drive pins on your EGO roll track may have broken. The only way to break a drive pin on an EGO roll track is through excessive force. So if you can imagine, this is your tailgate and this is your roll cover, and when it's closed, it's pushing up against your tailgate. If you put pressure back that way, you're going to break a drive pin. There's three ways that you could break these drive pins. One, if you slam your tailgate against the roll cover, you could break the drive pin. Two, if you load against your open roll cover and not tie down to your floor, you're putting pressure against the roll cover and you can break a drive pin. And the third way is, if the EGR roll truck was fitted too far to the back of the ute tub, closing the tailgate is constantly pushing more pressure against that drive pin. First thing to do is try and do a recalibration. Now, if trying to do a recalibration and it doesn't complete the cycle, you may have a broken drive pin. If the drive pins on your EGR roll track are broken, you will hear a noise like this. If you do have a broken drive pin, we recommend that you put your EGR roll track into manual mode and pull the fuse out so that the unit does not try to operate and burn out the motor. To put the EGR roll track into manual mode, push the clutch in as shown here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the EGR roll track and we're going to disassemble the side rails to inspect the drive pins. Upon finding the broken drive pins, we're going to obviously replace those drive pins. We're going to reassemble the unit and refit onto the vehicle correctly. So there you have it guys, a quick diagnosis and repair video on broken drive pins on your EGR roll track. Follow EGR TV on YouTube for more videos just like this one.